Hello everyone, this is a HP Elitebook H140 G7. Customer send it for the BIOS problem. So let's try to go to the BIOS. And the BIOS is need the administrator password. The customer doesn't know the password. So I'm gonna need to remove the password in this one. So the only way to remove the password in this one by reprogramming the chip. So let's disconnect the battery. Let's check if there is a hard drive. There is just one uh, RAM. And the hard drive is missing over there. It's better if you send in the computer, send the hard drive with it. So I can load the system and see how it's work. So with the hard drive we can do more tests on the computer. This BIOS it doesn't reset by removing the CMOS battery. It's gonna need the the EEPROM to be flashed. And we have a three EEPROM chips. One here, one here, and another one right here. So we are gonna take this BIOS, read it, save a copy of it change it, remove the password from it, then we are going to write it in a new apron, then we put it back here. So we are going to keep the old apron in case if something goes wrong. Yeah, be careful when you are removing the, the BIOS, there is a lot of small components around it. Clean the BIOS chip. And we are going to put it in this reader. So let's go to the computer. Okay, that's the IC. And we go to read. So it's going to take a minute till it's read, then uh, come back. So after the program is uh, read the apron, I will click to verify the IC to be sure what's the program read here inside this page is matching what is inside the apron. It's very important you do the verifying. Because sometimes it's just one code missing or one letter or one page. It will cause a big problem in the apron. So don't delete nothing from the old apron yet. Tell uh, you sure you have the, cl the good copy of the old uh, BIOS. Alright, yeah, so the, the program is done verification the the page here with the things in the apron. So I'm just going to click save. But I will go and open it with the second program because I want to be really sure about that is the right one. So this program here, let's go click detect the apron. That's the apron. And we are going to go to read, or we can uh, go open. I 
and we go where we save it so the old program doesn't save it as PIN pin so that's why I rename it and it show here now let's be sure yep this is the codes let's go to verify we don't go to write or delete we go to verify we are just checking the two programs if they are the same yeah sometimes you need to read it like two three times to get a good copy of the the BIOS and that's what I'm doing right now because I want a good copy so I can change it and I will be kinda sure that's gonna work well, let's go see what it said yeah it said here the chip main memory and the buffer are the same so what we have what we save it compared to what inside the chip is the same file that's great so now we are good to do our uh, work so let's take our old apron safely and we get a new one so some customer they send me just the apron and I unlock it and program uh, the new one and send it back to them or like they read uh, the old apron then they send me the file on my email I am gonna clean it and send it back to them but there is a charge for that done verifying and this give us no error I'm gonna do another uh, verification with this uh, with this one here because I want to be sure we have the right uh, and we click uh, verify so it's gonna verify the program that we have in the computer with the program that we have in the chip it's soldered good let's check if this uh, chip if any pins connected to the ground this is the ground side it shows zero on the melt mirror one moment please So after a couple more times the computer is starting, it's boot to the screen. Okay, we are in the BIOS now. So after the first boot, we go to the this option and so uncheck this one, TPM. uncheck this one be sure that's not unchecked here 
and yeah just verify everything is not uh, let's go to this option right here computer restart And this is the hearings boot based on the Windows 10 boot files. There is a lot of good programs to repair uh, Windows computers and all that. And to check the computer like uh, right now. So you're going to have everything, the network, Wi-Fi, everything, Google Chrome. So let's shut down. This is multi boot USB. F9 and it's give us the list what the what windows we want to install and Let's go to the Windows 10. Alright, here it is booting to the Windows installation. If you want to send your computer for repair, I do have all the contact information in the video description. If you want to send uh, your EEPROM to be uh, programmed, I can do that for you as well and you can do the soldering by yourself if you want to send just the file and uh, I will uh, clear the password for you for the for a charge so just uh, text me in the phone number that you see in the description then I will uh, get back to you about uh, yeah if you have any question you can contact me about this service I don't do the support on the phone uh, the previous video which has all the free information for you to do it by yourself so this is all for this video thank you for watching and see you again